Hi everyone, I'm back with another journal. The um, things that I had to do was yellow and Bible verses. So this is what I came up with. Um, it is an altered book and I put dream and the flower, put this lace and then I put the ribbon so that it would cover up the gold writing on the spine. Alrighty, let's go inside. I've started doing this with some of my journals because I think that's a good idea and then they can put their name in it. This paper pack was called Faith and I got it at Hobby Lobby. I don't remember. I think it was just called Faith, but I don't remember who made it. This is a bottom pocket with a journaling card. And by the way, I got a tripod so I could use both hands. Oops, there was a blank paper here. <clears throat> this is a double belly band with two journaling cards on them. This is a bottom flick, flip, flick. Okay, well, flick it too with a journaling card. I washi taped this one down. So it just folds out and she can journal on that. I just taped that one down. This is a doily and I used a part of the paper pack as the middle so that it wasn't quite so all white and then put a sticker on it and a journaling card. This is the other side. Have Faith is stickers with a journaling card and those were bought at Hobby Lobby. is a side tuck with a journaling card. This is the middle of the first signature. I washi tape both sides, folded one side down, and you get a double set of washi tape and a journaling card. This is a paper clip with fibers with a journaling card. This is a bottom pocket with a little doily and I took that same paper here and put it there and it's just got a journaling card. Corners of my pages got bent. This is a small envelope and I just washied where the sticky is so it won't stick to the card and the journaling card. This is the other side of the envelope, and I just put a sticker and a little embellishment there. And when you flip it out, inside, there's a journaling card. This is a Sizzix die cut, and it's just got a guest check and a journaling card. And then, of course, it's got a second set over here, guest check, and a journaling card. This is a bottom pocket with a journaling card. This is a top tuck, eyelash trim, and this is just a paper flower. And this was a little Sizzix die cut that I had. And it's got a journaling card. That's the end of the first signature. Here's the second. And there's three signatures in this. This is a double tuck, and I've got these two little cards in the front, and then in the back is another journaling card. This is a little paper bag, and I, I, I glued down the sides of the little flap to put in these two journaling cards. Then this is a little envelope, and it's got a Part of the this is part of the paper pack that I used, and it just little have little lines on the back, and then this pulls out, and it's a journaling card. Oh, I forgot to put lines on that. I'll have to go back and do that. This is a glassine bag. 
This was white lace, and I just took one of my Stampin' Up stamp pads, and I just rubbed it over it, and then I took a piece of paper and kind of rubbed some of it back off, because, of course, it was wet, and it was going to get all over everywhere, things, so I just rubbed it back off. So then I put this on the front of the glassine bag, and inside is a journaling card. So you could have any color of lace you wanted if you have a whole bunch of Stampin' Up stamp pads, or any kind of stamp pads, for that matter. This is just a little fold out. It says, Be Humble. This is a bigger envelope that is sewn in, and I just cut the tuck, or the, the flap, so that you could do a, a pocket on each side and have a journaling card in it. And then just washi tape the sticky part and outside so that it would break up, you know, the whites on white. This, <laughs> I may have had a little mistake that I did. And so I had this washi tape, and it is actually chalkboard washi tape. And it's scalloped on both sides, but I needed it to be flat on the top, so I just cut off the other side of the scallops, and she can write on that whatever she wants to write with chalk. This is a, another, um, this is a thinlet that I use in my my Sizzix. She, well, it's it's actually the Big Shot. And these are, there are several different sizes, and these two are more of that. And then this is just a stamp. And I cut, cut it out with a journaling card. And then there's some fibers on it. This is a small envelope that has a tuck spot behind it with a journaling card. And it's a, it's a, it's a die cut that I can run through my Big Shot that makes this envelope. So the verse inside, because it was too long to fit in the envelope, I cut the verse off and put it on the flap. And then inside is the verse. And I forgot to put lines on that one too. Looky there. This is the middle of the second signature. And again, two washi tape, folded one down with a journaling card. This is a bottom pocket, and this is part of the paper pack. In fact, you can see it right there. <laughs> and I just made a little notebook out of it. And on top, you know, I added the bling bling. This is a corner flip, and it's just got a journaling card in it. This is the other side of the big envelope with a journaling card inside. Then this is just a sticker, the Lord bless you and keep you. There's another double belly band, and it's got two journaling cards. I just taped that one down. Here's another doily with some more of the paper and a journaling card. The other side with more of the paper and a journaling card. That's the end of the second signature. So here is the last signature. Side pocket with a journaling card. Ooh. Another paper clip with fibers with a journaling card. This one is washi taped down. This is a clasp envelope. Oh man, I hate it when that happens. And I just unglued the bottom of it to make a, oh look, no more lines not on, a journaling card. And then on the outside of it, I just used a partial doily with some paper flowers and a brad. And then this is a little heart stamp. This is a bottom pocket with a journaling card. This is another little envelope with the washi on each side with two journaling cards. And then the other side, this is a sticker. That is, and that is. And then you open it up, and there's a journaling card. <laughs> this is the middle of the third signature, and I double washi taped. These are two little washi tapes, so those are that's four different lines of it. And I really like that. I thought that really turned out pretty. And it has a journaling card in it. 
This is the other another Sizzix die cut tag with a journaling card and the guest check. Then the other side of it is a journaling card and the guest check. This is another tag, and I didn't really want to cover up Hope because I really cut that out for a reason, so I just left it like that. And then a journaling card. This is the other part, the clasp part of the clasp envelope. And of course, there's a journaling card in it. And then on the other side, this is a, another of my uh, Big Shot die cuts that I could do. And... This is a stamp I have, and I really like that stamp. I don't know if you can see what it says. I don't know if my camera will f focus enough, but I really like that. It says, Genuine Article, and it says, Accept No Substitutes, Accept No Substitutes. Then I just took some of the paper and made a journaling card out of it. This is another of my double tuck template. And I just made two journaling cards. Then Fussy cut a stamp up. Uh, this was on part of the paper. Um, I don't know. It had a whole bunch of crosses on it. I'm sure you've seen it. But then I just cut out Jesus, and that was part of this piece of paper. I just cut that out and put it on top of the cross. Oops. There's a couple blank pages in there. This, I wanted to represent... Uh, Jesus and the uh, two cross the thieves on the cross. So this is the three crosses of the crucifix. And it just opens up. And then I allowed a tuck spot behind it with a journaling card. This is a, another paper clip with fibers and a washi or a I'm sorry, journaling tag, card, tag, whatever. And then this is the end of the third one. This is an envelope, and I have no idea where I, I cut them out from, but I really thought that was cool. And my daughter is in the process of making me a whole bunch of these that kind of has a bunch of different designs. And she's on Junk Journal Junkies also. Her name is Stacy Belts, and she um, should soon have these up on her Etsy shop if you want to go purchase them. There are some really cute ones. She kind of showed me the previews of them. But inside, I just put handmade by Sherilyn's Custom Journals, and it's just on that. And then they can, you know, see where it come from. And that is the end of this journal. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and you can subscribe to my YouTube. It's Sherilyn Eichmann, and uh, it'll be on there. And I will, I will, I will link it in my Facebook post when I post about the. Um, the front of it. So there you go. See ya. Bye.